this summer we went on a field trip to St. Paul Alamanet. Alamanet is a small group that published book showcase local artists who live and wait in the Twin City, especially Lower Town, St. Paul. But a lot of times in St. Paul and in other communities throughout the country, we sometimes don't know our neighbors. And one of the best ways to do that is to get to know each other through sharing our stories. I'm Kimberly Nightingale, and I'm the executive director of the St. Paul Night. We not only have our book, but now we do an open mic at the Golden Time Coffee Shop every week. It's called Ice Cream Day, so you deserve everything under the stars. You are the alpha and the omega of what's been the best portion of my life so far. And lust filled your eyes, then they spoke. Lust feels better than nothing, but nothing ends better than lust. I would say that art is my life, and I love how brings people together from all different parts of life and different ages and different ethnicities and different art, um, people different, different interested in different art forms. And it's really about creating a sense of we all belong here and we all own this place in the world which is St. Paul. The local artists make a living and get paid for the painting, drawing, and music. We follow some of them and Document this journey. Uh, my name is Todd Peterson. My name is Takumba Tyron Aiken. My name is Lisa Matheson. I'm a public artist. I'm a lower town artist. I'm uh, one of the members here at the uh, AZ Gallery. Uh, people always ask me what style of work, art do I do? I do the best style ever. <laughs> I do my own style. Someone else described it as uh, instinctive colorist. And I guess that comes as close as anything I've heard. I work with glass. Um, I haven't worked with glass for very long. Um, I started out as a painter. I chose those types of art, but the art styles and things chose me. I'm untrained, or not formally trained, and it's just what comes natural to me. I really like color, as is fairly obvious behind me here, and uh, it's, it's what works for me. If people would say, you know, there goes the Aiken kid, the artist, he better get a job, but all the time my artwork would pay for what I needed to do, so I was kind of uh, fortunate. But I've always believed in myself, so more important than uh, people believing in me, which is important. I first had to believe in myself. How does art affect my life? I think that I've embraced art to the extent that it probably is my life. I'm in a constant relationship with art and it's a constant part of who I am. And everything I do, I'll be drawing maybe six or eight hours a day. Um, I do all sorts of other things. It's all, it's all a part of who I've become and who I am. So it's not like it affects me in one certain way. It's like, it is who I am. I think anybody, if they sit down and just spend the time exploring their creativity, I don't think you have to be able to draw realistically like some people think. I think if you just explore what, uh, what, you're, just what you're passionate about, I think anyone can be an artist. On our journey, we learned that most artists describe art as their identity. We also learn about their history and their backgrounds. Also, artists look at their art differently than everybody else. Thank you.